Okay. Uh, if you ready? Yes. Matt, Matt Achity from Rotten Tomatoes is here. Lisa Breck is joining us right now. Did you, did you watch Tom Show? I did. I did. I got to see yeah. him in the green room. What a great guy. Uh, very great guy. Great guy. It's, it's really great when a guy like that says, oh, yeah, I, I know your site. I know what you do. Uh, you know what? Everyone knows uh, your site at this point. You should well, be very proud yeah, of it's, it. It's, Rotten Tomatoes, of yes. course. Everybody in the uh, industry does. It's yes, pretty cool. 93% yeah. yeah. of the world doesn't know your site. Don't <laughs> but, <laughs> so I exaggerated, okay. but in my world, in my mind. Uh, let's go to the movies right now, Matt. Uh, of course, all the energy and talk is about The Dark Knight. Yes. Right. Yeah, The Dark Knight Rises, critics like. Uh, this is the third movie in the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Uh, and critics mostly like it. 86% on the tomato meter, certified fresh. Some people say it's kind of overdone. The ones that don't like it say it's a little too much. Now, have you started putting up the, because uh, you had to take down the comment section yes. last week after the whole yeah. response. Oh, yeah. Have you put that back up yet? No. Actually, okay. I haven't. Sometimes the democracy of the internet doesn't work. Yeah, you know, it was unfortunate. It got yeah. to a point where we couldn't stay on top of it. It was too hard. You know, yeah. uh, people are, you know, to be clear, it's okay if people want to complain about negative reviews of a movie they haven't seen. Are you? They may come off kind of dopey, but they can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I won't stand for is people doing threats and harassment. Like, no. That's not okay. And at, at that point, we couldn't stay in, in front of it. Now, now so we took does it down. this movie now at this point, Matt, is it about the movie or is it about the incredible sad cultural context of I, it? I think it's going to be, I think forever people are going to, when they think about this movie and this whole trilogy, they're going to think about that tragedy. I, I think you, there's no way around that. You think of the last movie and you think of the fact that it was the last performance we ever saw from, you know, an actor, the Joker, you know, right. and then you see this one and this happened and even uh, the reports are 20 to 25 percent of the audience is still afraid to go back to theaters this weekend. Yeah, you know, I, it, normally, you know, the movie made something like 160 million last mm -hmm. week and, you know, typically you'd probably figure, well, it'll probably make around 100 million this week, but this is going to be the weekend where people who were on the fence about the film are going to see it and I think that we may see more of a drop than we had originally thought or, because those or, people on the fence. Or you might be surprised. Or you might be surprised. You, because there's such interest now. In the, yeah. Uh, now, coincidentally, the second movie ties into yet another American yes. tragedy. Yes, The Watch. Uh, and this stars Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn and Jonah Hill uh, as three guys who, in the wake of a murder in their community, form a neighborhood watch to solve the murder. And they've changed the name because it used to yes. be called The Neighborhood, the neighborhood Watch. Neighborhood Watch. Mm -hmm. And it has the unfortunate luck of coming out right after the tragedy in Aurora. And there is a character in that movie, played by Jonah Hill, who could come off as one of those guys you're a little worried about it from time to time. There would be more controversy if this movie was any good. My face. But there's not a lot of controversy about a movie that's really bad. When was the last time you had a review that low? 15 percent. Uh, 15%, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty low. Uh, what, critics, have been, what have been the lowest movies in the last six months? Uh, you know, there's a couple zeros peppered in there. Uh, Zero? What? Yeah, there's a couple zeros. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there what are What was the couple, last uh, Adam Sandler movie? The last right? Adam Sandler movie, I think, was under 10%. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was around 9 does that not, matter? Not to his fans. Okay. No, no yeah, I don't think yeah, so. Of course. Yeah. No, and yeah. you know, this movie You're I, a bunch of snooty reviewers. Yeah, exactly. What do, you know? <laughs> what do we know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, I, I don't think that really matters with Adam Sandler. I don't know how much of it's gonna affect this film. I don't know. This you know, again, this movie could have potentially benefited from some controversy because mm -hmm. it's really not very good. You know, they form this neighborhood watch and then they find aliens. Oh, oh, so oh. okay. Yeah. yeah. Did they did they delay the the release of the movie? Not this one. No, okay. they had, okay. I don't think that they had delayed so they just it. But, changed but the Gangster name. Squad has now been. And delayed. Gangster's been moved into uh, yes. January from All September. All right, Matt uh, Rotten Tomatoes Radio Thursdays at three o'clock on Sirius XM Radio. Please listen because it means it means a lot to you. Uh, it does mean a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's on his way over to the newsroom. Please watch that because he'll be doing a Google Plus hangout with Maria. It means a lot to Maria. It, so yes. go over there. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, still ahead. What's coming up? Oh, we got the American Idol Suite. Sweethearts, Ace Young, Diana DeGarmo, so adorable. They were on different shows and then they came together. Love, you're true love cry. conquers cry, all. Huh? I, I love the love story. Everybody knows your website. Uh, Everyone oh, knows. I bet you they Serbia, know. it's number one. <laughs>